Hello and welcome to Tiny Church this lovely Wednesday morning. Hope you're all fine. Well, let's open in prayer. So let's close our eyes, put our hands together. Dear Jesus, thank you for being with us this week. Thank you for all the help you give us. Most of all, thank you for your loving care. As we join in Tiny Church this morning, let us worship and sing to you, our Saviour. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Well, been a bit of a wet week, hasn't it? Never mind. It'll become sunny again soon. And thank you for the photographs you sent me. I've got a couple more to show you. Do you want to see them? Yes. Helping hands to help our neighbours by grace. That's a brilliant idea. We should always be lending a hand to our neighbour, shouldn't we? Next up, after watching the Good Samaritan story, Hazel looked at the different people who help us. You can see nurses and firemen and police. That's a great picture. Thanks, Hazel. Oh, they were good, weren't they? Don't forget to send some more in this week. I do love seeing your photographs. Right, are we ready for our blessing song? Right, let's get those voices ready and sing out loud. OK. Ready? It is swaying. Dear God, we know that your loving arms are around us all the time. Thank you for the many blessings that you give us. And bless all those who are looking after us at this time. Our family, our friends, nurses, doctors, carers, shop workers, delivery drivers and many more. We pray for our leaders who are working so hard. Lord, bless us here at Tiny Church. God's blessing be upon you now. May you know of His great love for you. May God's blessing be upon you now. Right where you are. Well, now it's time for story. So sit back and relax and let's hear our story this week. This week, we're going to hear about the farmer and the seed. One day, Jesus taught by the lakeside. Lots of people gathered to hear him. The crowd became too large. What would Jesus do? Seeing a boat nearby, Jesus climbed aboard. Now he could see the people, and they could see and hear him. Jesus began to tell parables, stories about ordinary things that taught people about God. A farmer scattered seed on his field. Jesus' story was just like a picture, with words instead of drawings. Some of the scattered seed lay on a footpath. Swoosh! Birds quickly swooped down to gobble it up. 
Some seed landed on stony parts of the field. They quickly grew into spindly, puny plants. The hot sun soon shriveled them up because they could not root in the shallow soil. Other seed had rooted among thorns. It didn't produce grain. The thorns crowded around the young plants, blocking out the needed sunshine and rain. The rest of the seed fell on good ground. As time passed, the shoots became healthy plants, bearing plenty of new grain. The farmer must have been very happy. At the end of the story, the disciples came to Jesus. Why do you teach in parables? they asked. Jesus said, parables help people understand about God if they really love him. People who don't love God cannot understand parables. Jesus explained the parable. He said the seed is God's word. Seed on the footpath is like someone hearing but not understanding God's word. Satan makes them forget what God said. Some people quickly receive God's word. They are like seed on stony soil. But as soon as someone mocks them or makes things difficult because they love God, a sad thing happens. These same people who joyfully started to follow Jesus turn away and stop obeying God's word. They don't want to pay the price for following God. How sad that they should want to please friends rather than God. The thorns in the parable are like the worldly worries and the love for money that fill some people's lives. They are so busy trying to get more money and other things that they leave God out of their lives. But the seed that fell on good soil and gave a good harvest is like the word of God entering hearts and changing people's lives. These people serve and honour God. The crowds did not want to leave. Many wanted to follow God and please him. Jesus' parables help them to understand how to obey God. The Farmer and the Seed, a story from the Bible found in chapter 13 of Matthew. Well, that was an interesting story, wasn't it? Well, where would you plant your seeds? That's a good question, isn't it? Well, perhaps it's time to go. No? Pardon? Oh, instruments. Yeah, well, you go and get your instruments. We'll have our wiggle wiggle song. OK. Right. Now, are we ready for our song? Sing it loud. Freeze. 
Even though it's not warm today, I'm getting warm with all that singing. Well, it is time to go now. So let's close in prayer. Put our hands together, close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for teaching us more about how you want us to live. Help us as we grow like those seeds in that good soil. Help us to grow into strong, helpful people that you will be proud of. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, perhaps this week you could send me pictures of things you've grown. Or a picture of a big plant. You surprised me, okay? So until we meet again next week, take care then. Bye!